Happy Tuesday, you guys. It is Mars Day, Mars Rules Tuesday. So it's full of um, actionary vibes, right? Moving forward, trailblazing, leading, being an individual, you know, doing what it is that is yours to do, that you desire to do, and doing it very quickly. Okay, so the moon is still in Pisces, and we are going to get into this oracle message of the day. And so the moon is, we are being invited to bring together, because it's it's in a, in conjunction to Mars, right? Mars, which is in Leo right now, right? So this is a, a lot of fire. Um, Leo is very focused. It's a very self based kind of energy although it is very social in its regard um it's very choosy in who it socializes with right so um it's like bringing this unconditional aspect of yourself together with this part of yourself that has standards right not letting one overthrow the other so not throwing out your standards for just simply embracing and accepting a thing um but also um, not letting that unconditional aspect of the Piscean nature overthrow your standards in a way that is going to have you dissatisfied later. So bringing a, uh, bringing these two dualities together because they're very separate, very different in their expression, um, totally. They're both very creative, very genius-like energy, but Leo is more of... Um, a quick movement, like, okay, I got this idea, let me go and do this, this is happening, where Pisces is like, hmm, maybe this can work, I don't know, let me think about, it. let me dream about it a bit, a bit more, let me visualize this some more, right, so also bringing those two aspects together, the visualization in with the creativity and the creative nature of Leo, right, to manifest something beautiful, right, this could also be speaking about, um, our children as well, and, and being more patient with them in their um, with their fiery nature, with their very passionate sense of being, right? Um, and this can also even speak to our relationships, whether romantic, platonic, friend, anything like that, you know? And the moon is also in a tense aspect to the North Node. It'll also be in connection with Mercury. So whatever, what's been unclear for us, um, what's kind of been elusive, even it may be creating uh, situations that present growth for us. So whatever, especially in regards to healing and moving forward and facing our true north, <laughs> where it is that we're going, what it is that um, we are desiring to build and who we are desiring to build that with, right? We are seeing, we have the ability to see this very clearly if we choose to listen to the messages that Gemini is um, bringing forth for us, providing for us in a way that is going to allow us to manifest the dream, to continue to walk in the dream, right? But in a way that is uh, logical and not uh, delusional. <laughs> okay, so um, Gemini and Pisces together is like two geniuses trying to uh, debate on whose way is the right way right? But no way is the wrong way. One really needs the other, all right? So the moon is also in a, a trine. This card came out again. Um, this moon is also in a trine to the sun, right? So this is a lot of emotional nature, feeling very watery. We may really be feeling like we want to just take a break, in a sense, um, just wanting to rest, wanting to uh, let let our emotions arise so that we can really go there with them and embrace them, right? And and feel our feelings and 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 be with them. But also, when it comes to feeling secure within ourselves, within our world, with what it is that we're doing, um, and how we're going about that, how we are expressing ourselves, what it is that we are creating, connecting with our children, okay. Um, and the card that we can got here is the Age of Light. 
and this is the card that fell out while I was shuffling, but it says you have been training for this for a lifetime. So know that you are what you are doing, where you're going is the right thing for you to be doing. It's interesting. It's the second time I recorded this video. And the first card that came out was protection. And this card is at the bottom. This is unbound. And it says releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. And protection is about soul, soul retrieval. It's the same energy, right? And in the card on the bottom for that one was um, you're already doing it, right? And that's it's very similar to the age of light because the age of light is like, okay, you just need to keep going because what you have all the knowing, all the knowledge, all the wisdom it is that is required of you in order to make these things happen, whatever that is, even if it's something as simple as cooking dinner, all right, but um, that releasing the soul patterns, the soul contracts is uh, calling, calling yourself back from what ties you down, what holds you back, like whether that is um, you uh, really caught in cycles of, of your own darkness or if this is cycles in regards to relationships it is that you hold within your life you know in um whatever contracts it is that you've signed whether that is in this lifetime right or past lifetime that you are needing to release and, and reconcile within yourself right it's it's time to release those things in a way that is going to usher us a lightness to continue to move forward on the path whatever that path looks like for you because you know it's yours so what's here <laughs> and then we have the fish here so this is riches this is um emotional uh, emotional stability as well this is also, something may be coming through um, in regards to like banking. So if you apply for like a loan or anything like that, that may be coming through for you um, or you may be deciding to do that today. Um, the, this is also about self-awareness too when realizing and seeing yourself um, very fully you know, and what it is that you need to move forward. This is also star card energy. Right, so wishes, fulfillment, uh, bliss, right, and and know that you have what it takes within you in order to fulfill this, um, to fulfill the future that you're moving towards, because that's what the star card is about as well. Okay, and at the bottom we have the heart, so it's a lot of joy here, a lot of happiness, and if you're not feeling this joy, this happiness, this fulfillment, what comes? What is going to support you in, in attaining that is becoming unbound, protecting yourself, right? Do what it is that you need to do in order to, that's self-care, right? Put, put yourself first. Know, recognize what, what is not necessarily worth your time, but how much you can give, right? Recognize um, uh, where it is that you, it's just sometimes it's, we need to let go of things, right, that, that just are not serving us, right, and that could just simply be a way in which we've been going about doing something, right, because um, this card here, this heart, this is the nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles is all about action, it's about movement, it's about materialization, right, so um, how have you, what emotions have you been investing in what it is that you've been building in, in, in how is that, um, what's the word, how has that been serving you in, in, in making things happen? Has it been helping you? Has it been supportive, right? Has it, um, does it allow you freedom? Does it allow you the space it is that you need in order to be able to show up however it is that you need to show up, okay? You guys, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I do have some things to share with y'all, but I'm going to record that and um, post that a little bit later. And yeah, I will see y'all very soon. <laughs> Bye.